Welcome. Here is the Sagittarius. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is the third week. The week begins from uh, the... Oh, stop, door. The week begins from the 19th until the 25th. But let's see what's coming up in this week, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so we see the energy of a new start is coming up. Um, a new start. Then we see this week is going to go very, very fast. We see a whole lot of information is coming out. And this information is going to be bringing some sort of a new start in your life. So then on Wednesday, the 10 of 1, some of you are going to be dealing with some sort of an issue um, on Wednesday carrying the ten of wands um the center of the week is jupiter in capricorn so whatever that was going on with you fire sign people in a capricorn jupiter is in capricorn um then we see the seven of swords a lot of you are trying to stand your grounds um in a situation then we see the energy of the lover um, married people might be having some sort of an issue or problem. Uh, some of you might have wanted some sort of a new contract. And we see an end, the Six of Swords, an end. Some sort of a information came out for a couple. And I see an end is here for a couple. So married people, people who are married, be careful in this week. Because in the weekend there could be some sort of a um, blowout. Uh, something that is going to be a, a huge, huge conflict in the weekend with married people that is going to be bringing some sort of a marriage to an end or is going to be bringing some sort of a contract to an end. So um, be aware of this, uh, that uh, um, especially married couples, uh, um, this is, is going to be affecting you in this week. So married couples, be aware of what is transpiring. Especially in the weekend for you married couples, there is going to be major issue that is coming up. So how many major arcana we have? We have two major arcana. And it has to do with new start in some sort of a... Um, for people with contracts who were hoping for some sort of a new contract that would be coming in for some of you if you apply for a job if you had applied for something um, yes it is going to be coming in news is going to be coming out um, that is going to be ending a situation and whatever this news is because as we read this way uh, clockwise it is a new start a whole lot of information is going to be coming out but an end is going to be coming to some sort of a contract so as we go clockwise it is serious because whatever is transpiring it has to do with married couple or um, people who have had some sort of a contract because the end is here with a marriage or the end is here with a contract now, when we look at work and your passion, we see some sort of a new start. It's as if uh, your work is going to be picked up now. It's, a, it's as if uh, a lot of you, it's going to be busy at work, a lot of work, a lot of things. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, there's a lot of work and a lot of things. This week is the week that you have to make decision. Okay, so you're throwing up um, the ideas and you have to make some sort of a decision. Now, this decision has to be made because Friday, I see a lot of you standing your ground. So, fire sign people, this is going to be a very good week for you because you're starting off the week where you're getting some sort of a help, information, and things are going to be very fast. As it comes to Tuesday, Tuesday is going to be snipping away. But Tuesday has a situation to do with some sort of a contract that some of you were hoping and waiting for. New start is going to be coming in, but, it, you know, we now need to see where is this new start, who is going to be affected by this new start, and what this new start is bringing in for you guys. In the center of the week, we see the Ten of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, and um, the Seven of Wands. Now, the Seven of ones or the seven of stuff or however you will call it the two of pentacles is in the middle and there is has to be some sort of a uh you know hard decision that has to be made because the ten of ones the burdens are coming up on wednesday 
So a hair sign for Monday. So it's a lot of you are just up in the hair. Tuesday, a lot of information, a lot of work. It's going to be busy, busy, busy. As from Tuesday, Wednesday, busy, busy, busy. Thursday, it's kind of calmed down. But Friday, it's going to be a lot of you are going to stand on your ground because you want some sort of a new contract to come in. In the weekend, there is going to be some sort of a problem in your marriage. And your marriage could take a step for the worse, okay? So, um, whoever that was working against a Capricorn, be aware because um, Jupiter is in Capricorn. Whenever it comes up to love, a lot of you wanted some sort of a new start in love. It is going to be a, um, a yes for some of you, but for some of you, no. Okay, so... I see a lot of you Aries that was open for some sort of a new start in a, a relationship. It might not happen. Not for all of you, for some of you. It depends on who you are and the frequency, okay? If you are going and you were going for a Pisces, I see that it's not going to be happening, okay? Um, I see this person is walking away. So for some of you, um, the rest of you who are not dealing with a Pisces, but if you're dealing with air sign people, it's going to be a yes, okay? You are connected to air sign people and not water sign people. Emotionally, a lot of you um, young um, Aries are going through some sort of an emotional roller coaster in the world of love for you is this that should i go with this person should i not go should i hold on to this person should i let go that sort of a situation is coming up but it's for you to really understand what it is that you want okay you might want someone who is already in a relationship and that is going to be coming up and it's going to be transparent so it's, it's as if a lot of you are trying to figure out is this my world is this what i want and it's going to be up to you as to um, how you uh, recap this relationship, this marriage, whatever it is. It's about you really reaching out and wants a new story, but it's up to the other person. On Tuesday, I see a whole lot of message is coming out about a child. Now, whatever is happening and transpiring and whoever this child is, this child could be speaking up. I see a corporation is going to be asking a child and questioning a child and is going to be getting to the bottom of a situation. So I see if your child is in child custody or that sort of a thing, it could be a school, it could be um, social service questioning a child. To get to the bottom of the situation and find out exactly what has been going on with this child they could be finding data and information and recognizing something about a child okay so some of you could be applying or doing something for your child and i see some sort of a questioning about a child so um think of all the the situation where a child comes up it could be an an, an accident that happened to a child and this child has been questioned, but it could be a situation at school. So oh, a whole lot of information is coming from a school about a child. Um, it could be from a hospital. It could be that some sort of a information over a child is going to be coming out or a child is going to be questioned. But it's more so it's this data and information is coming out, out about a child. And now people are recognizing all of the information and data that people were not aware of. So it could be legal issues, lawsuit and that sort of a thing. Um, I see communication could be coming from a child that is advising some of you about something that has been happening to them. I see long communication with kids. So I see coaches and all of that. You're going to be very, very busy. Ch ch children, coaches, and that sort of a thing. It's going to be very, very busy, okay? All right. Then when we look at a 10 of wands, I see a lot of you are going to be happy that a burdensome situation is now over. So some of you Sagittarians could be really happy. And I see that a lot of you... A Taurus, Virgo, a Capricorn person had created a whole lot of burdens um, for you. Whoever the Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person is could have been your lover. 
um, some of you um, could have have a, a older man that was your lover and I see that this older man has created a lot of burdens for a lot of you now whoever this older man is it could be your husband who is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn and you are in some sort of a relationship with this person or um, this person was carrying a whole lot of burdens so um, it is as if some of you or going to be thinking if this older man um, whether or not you're going to be getting some sort of a new start with this older man um, there could have been some sort of uh, unconventional situation that was created and I see a lot of you young people are thinking about uh, and is communicating with this man and um, trying to get some sort of a information it could be your child's father so if your child's father or you were dealing with an older man, I see some sort of a communication. I see a corporation could be calling up this man, asking this man something about who you are. And I see young women and you're like the lover, the outside person, the side piece chick who was dealing with an, a, a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn man. So there is, is like a government institution is seeing data and information and is recognizing some sort of uh on uh on the Zarabu situation and play and documentation information that the Taurus Virgo a Capricorn man hold and have that this person it wasn't their information and their documentation and they're going to be recognizing that this older man could have had data and information of young kids okay oh well this is coming up this is kind of a really off situation for the Taurus Virgo a Capricorn man but you are going to be overcoming the burden that this man has created for you. And you are going to be happily, successfully transiting away from this man and the burdensome situation. A lot of you young people, I don't know if it's your father or is uh, an older married man that you have been seeing. I see um, you want to reunite with this person, but this person is moving away from you this relationship this person is turning their backs to you so if your father is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person or if you were in a relationship with an older married man this man has too much burdens and he's turning his back to you so be aware of this so two of pentacles so the two of pentacles is another um, burdensome situation that is coming up and this burdensome situation is for a, a Capricorn man or woman okay this man is carrying a whole lot of burdens so, and I see sadness sadness for this uh, um, Capricorn man or woman um, but it's, it's, it's as if it's a man it's coming up as a man an older man an older Capricorn man a whole lot of burdens a sadness for this person so this person is carrying so much burdens and that is the reason why they are turning their backs to you uh, young lovers is that this person is saddened okay this man is saddened whoever this man is is saddened because he has a lot of burdens to carry and he doesn't have the time um, to give you and I see um, this relationship is going to be fading. So a lot of you young people um, that has either it's your father, either it's an older man that um, that used to support you. This man is carrying a lot of burden. I see a whole lot of sadness. Okay, Sagittarian who have created some sort of an issue for a Capricorn. I see Jupiter in Capricorn. So this Capricorn is going to be successfully overcome what you have created for this Capricorn and it's coming up for Sagittarian and you Sagittarian are going to be saddened and a whole lot of burdens because of some sort of information that comes out and they're going to be recognizing what you Sagittarian have done then regrets regrets is here and I see a whole lot of you are regretting a situation on Friday now um, the regrets um, on Friday is that yes melancholy melancholy a lot of you fire sign people are going to be regretting a situation and you're going to be melancholy because um whatever has transpired some of you are dealing with a taurus virgo a taurus virgo a capricorn man and this man could have 
um, supply you with information, documentation, and this man is in serious problems, and this man do not want to communicate with you at this moment. I see this man is in some serious issue. I see sadness, um, a corporation institution, whatever is happening in a corporation institution, it could be that some of you are, was having child custody battle um, and you are going to be um, overcoming this problem, whatever the child custody battle is, you will overcome this problem. But I see a whole lot of sadness for a um, Capricorn man. So we see the energy that a Capricorn man or a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn because they're not showing up for who they really are. It is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn businessman is now saddened and regrets what they have done because it's as if people are now recognizing and finding out what this man has done. A lot of you are going to be successfully um, overcoming um, some sort of a burden, some situation because the burden is for the Sagittarian. Uh, Sagittarian, you're, it's as if this week you Sagittarian is uh, um, was dealing, especially the Sagittarian that is married or dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn man with some sort of a divorce, some sort of a paper, some sort of a legal issue. I see sadness for this man. And for you, Sagittarian, you'll be winning. But Sagittarian who had created some sort of a chaos for a Capricorn, I see sadness for you. Or it doesn't have to be Sagittarius because all fire sign people is going to be affected. Regrets. A lot of you regret a situation, what you have done. You regret that you had got caught up in a situation. You regretted um, that you had work on a situation because now it's as if uh, you people are putting the pieces together and recognizing um, that you fire sign people were connected to this situation okay then we see hardship hardship for a couple a married couple is going to a whole lot of hardship whoever this married couple is and whatever is transpiring a married couple is going through a whole lot of hardship and I see desperate, desperate time for a married couple, desperate time for people who had some sort of a contract, desperate times is going to be coming up in this week for a lot of you fire sign people with contract, worried about your contract, whether or not your contract is going to be uh, renewed, worried about w w what direction um, your contract is going in. An end is coming in. They have investigated a situation and recognized that some of you fire sign people at the workplace or with a business, they are going to be ending your business because they recognize that the business is for a Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn person. So um, a lot of you fire sign could have um, pretended or could have used someone else's business information because i see some sort of a communication um that you were using some someone else's business information uh to accumulate something and they recognize it's not yours it's for a taurus Virgo, or a capricorn person so what you recognize here is that a taurus Virgo, or a capricorn person have made it clear that uh, you fire sign people is not uh, the owner of something. So it can be a business, it can be an idea, it can be a documentation information, but whatever it is, they're going to be ending a business or ending a house because they're going to be recognizing this business, this house, this situation is not for you, fire sign person. Your manager is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person or the situation or the business or the documentation is for a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn. So it is a situation where people could be recognizing that fire sign people you have co-create. Now, if this is your mother or this is your supervisor, you're up against a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn, a older woman, because they're going to be recognizing that this older woman stand in their truth and in their powers and is going to be recognizing that some data some information some documentation 
um, if you and choose and use someone else's data, information, documentation, they're going to be recognizing it is not yours. The business, the data, the information, the documentation is for a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person. And I see this person is going to have already showed up what was happening, what was transpiring. So the the um the happiness um the happiness is going to be coming out where uh, Sagittarians who were having problems and problems with a uh, Taurus Virgo and Capricorn man, this is now going to be over, okay? Because it's as if people are now recognizing and seeing um the truth about what was happening and transpired. And um, because of this, I see you're happily getting out of the situation with this person. Okay, so it could have been your husband, your ex-husband, where there are some problems and situation that is transpiring. Schools, people who have kids at schools, uh, um, the, the professor or some sort of a report in that sort of a situation, um, some sort of a problem where you have to go to school or some sort of a meeting over a child is going to be coming up for a lot of you. Um, communication, conversation, information, data about a child, whether it's your child or you are protecting a child is going to be coming out. So uh, be aware of this. Uh, wow, what a week, what a week, what a week. Is there anything else? Sadness, sadness is here. But the sadness and regret is for a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn man. Whoever this man is and whatever this man have done. I see you young ladies. Um, you young ladies are recognizing that the end is here to a relationship that you were having with a married man. You recognize that it's, um, a, you know, take it and leave it. This end is here for this person. And I is as if you're now recognizing that uh, things have taken a turn. Okay. So I see a lot of you young lovers are recognizing that a relationship or something is not um, going the way. And, uh, you you know, it's, it's I come to the end of the road and I can't let go. So be aware, be aware. A lot of you young fire sign people, be aware. This married man relationship is now over. Now, an end is here, and it is uh, some sort of a uh, Aquarius. This is the energy of communication in Aquarius, and the true communication they are going to be recognizing um, whether a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person is communicating something. They're going to be recognizing that something was not for you, fire sign people. Okay, so um, sadness is in the center of the week. Some of you. Are going to be saddened because of a whole lot of burdens a whole lot of situation that and you're you know saddened but uh the the, the sadness is uh um you know regretting that you have done something sadness for a hold hold a man and they regretted that they have done something whatever they have done they're not regretting what they have done i gotta go but i'm saying namaste until next time